Welcome to this week's session with the Putnam County District Library, the Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week we're going to take a look at a tool that Google has called Google Travel. When you um, are doing things using Google Travel, you can get trip information. Um, you can even do so that as far as look at things with reservations, be it for hotels, for um, airlines. The one thing you do want to understand when you're doing um, travel and looking at actually making reservations for airlines, hotels and such, you are using with Google what is called a meta search, meaning it's a meta site. And so what it's doing is it's going, you find the information and then it's taking you out to those other companies, be it um, an airlines or a hotel to their physical sites to actually make the reservations. You're not making that and doing that through Google itself. But Google Travel is a wonderful way to go and find information for places that you might be wanting to visit and maybe find activities and things that you uh, might want to do while you're there. So I'm going to take us over to um, Google Travel here. Right now I have Atlanta pulled up. I'm going to show you how you can simply get to um, Google Travel by going when you're logged in and going over to your um, nine dots and one of the options that you will find in there is actually Google Travel. It looks like a little suitcase. That will take you out to this page. And that's what you're going to see when you're looking at anything to do with Google Travel. Another way to get there as well is you can go from a, any um, web um, address here. We type in, we type in Google. And dot travel, or so it should, should say Google.com by travel. And that's going to do the same thing. Notice it's just a Google site here. We're going to a Google slash travel. Either way, now you will want to be signed into your actual Google account to be able to save any information that you might find and want to look at later. So when I click here on Google Travel, on, my, on the uh, left hand side, I have some options here. I have travel, I have explore, things to do, flights, hotels, and vacation rentals. So at travel, which, which is where I'm at currently, I can simply go in and type in where I might want to search. Notice it's also looking at where I'm located and then it's telling me popular destinations from the area where I live. So in other words, this is places that um, are common that people have searched for from the area because as we all know, Google collects information on um, individuals as they're using it. So that's, that's some of the stuff that's being collected. Notice that down the side here, these choices are also the same ones across underneath where you're searching. So if I go in here and I simply do a search, I'm going to go in and I'm going to search for New York. Pretty common search that people might make. And notice it comes up and it says, save things you want to do. And I said, okay, yep, got it. Now, when I'm here in New York, notice out here to the side, I have this saved button. So I can click on saved. I've been here before. And when I was here before, these were places that I had found that I thought, oh, those might be interesting. I might wanna look at those at a further date. So what it does is that saved button is putting the location that I'm interested in going to, anything that I bookmark, it's putting it under that. So I've got New York. I'm gonna do the same thing one more time here. What I'm gonna do, the only this time I'm gonna type in Atlanta. And when I type in Atlanta, same thing, I'm gonna go over here to saved. And I had some things bookmarked. These were places that I saw, oh, those might be interesting if I were to be going to Atlanta. Notice at the same time, over here on the side, it's coming up with a map, and it's giving me the actual location of um, where those would appear on the map. So here is the zoo. That's where it's located at on the map. I can do the same way that I would always treat a map. 
I can zoom in and zoom out. So I could see where that is at. Now I'm gonna do a search here for something that I haven't saved. So if I go Savannah and let's say I'm interested in maybe traveling to Savannah, notice I've got all of these down here at the bottom of different places that you might want, you might want to go to. Uh, the, the old pink house, I know that that's a place that I'm aware of some individuals have went to before that they found interesting. Um, but before I click on that, what I want to do is I'm going to go here to save because I want you to notice there's nothing in my saved because I haven't been here before. I, I haven't saved anything that I might want to do. So I'm going to go back to Savannah. Now I'm going to click here on my little bookmark. I'm going to bookmark that little, the old pink house. Now when I go to saved, I have that in my saved as one of the things that I might want to do when I'm in Savannah. I can also go to the explore button here. If I go to the explore button, it's going to come up. It's actually giving me flights from Toledo, which is um, obviously something that I have in my um, saved information is a location that I might travel out of often. And it's telling me of different places that I might want to go. It's giving me an estimate of cost, but and notice it has put it in as for one. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, find all the different places. So one week, one week trip in the next six months, it's telling me this is um, the approx approximate price that I might be able to go for for my flight, and it's also telling me a price for my hotel. It's telling me the number of stops and all the information about the flight as well. I'm going to go out of Explore, and I'm going to, we already looked at things to do. That's when I was here at Savannah, and I was looking at all the different um, places that I might want to go to. It's going to give me the top um, sites at first, and then I can click here and see all, see it a bit more. But I can also go on down and I have my top sites by interest. So in other words, if I'm going to be going with children, I might want to say, well, I want to know what sites are kid friendly in Savannah. So this is where I would get that information about what is kid, kid friendly in Savannah. Um, I'm going to go back here screen because I'm, I'm going to look at, let's go back one screen here, and we're going to scroll on down in terms of the neighborhood. Here are different articles. So if you want to um, read different articles, I know I like to kind of look at information that might be out there of, you know, the, the places to travel in Ohio right now to see the fall foliage. Um, so that might be like an article that would appear here in terms of your travel information, articles that are written. The next item going down the side here is your flights. Same thing, looks like a very similar search that you would do if you were searching for flights. Again, your, your place you're leaving from, where you're going to, your dates, and then you have all of these different um, filters that you could put into place in terms of what the cost would be to travel. And that's gonna all show up. And then we have our hotels. Same concept here. I'm still looking at Savannah. It's telling me the different hotels. And um, again, over here on the side, I have my map showing me the locations of those hotels. And one thing that I know I myself like to pay close attention to is to look especially at the um, star value and even to look at and see what people are saying about those locations as well. And then the last is your vacation rentals. So maybe you don't wanna stay in a hotel, but you want to um, look very similar to like a VRBO or Airbnb with those where you can actually find the rental, uh, rental based upon 
um, different types of housing, apartments, and so forth that you might want to look at. So that is what you would find. Same concept again. You'll, it's going to tell you whether it is a cottage or if it's a house or if it is um, a condo or even an apartment here. And you see, obviously you can see a price and see all the information. And again, over here on the map, and just like with any map, I could say, you know what, uh, this is this particular one. Let's say this one here is one that I'm interested in. So I can actually click on that and it's going to take me out and give me um, more information about this particular apartment to stay in here. And I would be able to go through, find more information and um, actually then it's going to can take me out. Like I said, remember we talked about it being a meta search site. So I would click on my website and I could go out and buy and actually make my reservation. So one more time here, I'm going to just go back to um, the travel page. I'm going to go back here to travel and we'll just take one more look here. Notice right now, very common, of course, we have our active travel advisory. So that's something that you can look at to get additional information if you're traveling anywhere and maybe how their policies and what might be in place. It's different there. And again, we have our popular destinations. It's going to always show based upon whatever your location is. And if I want to ever, again, go back and say, I'm in here and I'm thinking, okay, now I know I've talked about going to um, New York before. I know that I saved some information. I would simply type in New York. I would go to, oops, I clicked on the wrong button here. Let's go back to New York here real quick. Scroll back, go back to my travel. I'm gonna type in New York. And again, remember I said, I've been here before. I know I have been. Notice see my bookmarks are showing up right here, but I can also go up here to saved. And then all that's gonna show up is my bookmarks versus back on this page, I see all the top sites. I can tell which ones have been bookmarked because those bookmarks are now highlighted. So that is what you will find if you are to go to Google Travel. I look forward to having you join us next week. And next week, we're going to be looking at some more tips with Google. But this time, we're going to be looking at some Google tips that involve using the calendar. Hope everyone has a great week.
Okay, so there's Fort Lauderdale International Airport. There's one. Okay, there it is. Yes. Okay, so there's Okay, so there's the love, love Meridian. Okay, let's show that one.
No.
Welcome to this week's session. Welcome. 